So on a problem like this, we have cosine of pi minus theta plus the sine of pi halves minus theta equals 0. And what we want to do is we want to verify this identity. Well, we notice that we have this, the difference and, um, or sorry, we have the difference of two angles, which we're using together for cosine and we're using for sine, right? And what I want to do then is by using the sum and difference angles, I have to use both of these formulas. So let's go and review what the cosine of u minus v is. Well, that's equal to the cosine of u times the cosine of v plus the sine of u times the sine of v. Right? That's that one formula that you're given. And also we have the sine of u minus v. That's equal to the sine of u times cosine of v minus the cosine of u times the sine of v. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply these two formulas for here, because we want to verify that my left side is equal to my right side. I could also look into using co-function identities for here, but the question says use sum and difference, so I'm going to have to apply sum and difference. So let's apply here. So I write, here's u, here's v. Here's u, here's v. So by applying our formula, we're going to have cosine of pi times cosine of theta plus sine of pi times sine of theta. Then we have plus. OK, actually, you can give it to her right over there. Oh. Thank you, I appreciate it. Plus, which is my plus right here. All right, then we have to do the sine. Sine of pi over 2 times cosine of theta minus cosine of pi over 2 times sine of theta equals 0. All right, so all I really did is I applied one difference formula and then the other difference formula. Caitlin, question? All I did was I, I, ex I expanded this to here, and I expanded this one over here. How did I know how to expand it? I used the formulas that I was given up there. All right? So. Now, let's go ahead and simplify. So we need to evaluate for the sine and cosine of pi and pi halves. So I'll kind of create a nice little unit circle here. And we know at pi, we're going to have, so at our angle pi, we have negative 1, 0. And at pi halves, we have uh, 0, 1. So remember, when evaluating for cosine and sine, we've got to use our x and y coordinates. Um, and let's see, does anything immediately cancel out? No. So the cosine of pi is negative 1 times cosine of theta, plus the sine of pi, which is 1, times sine of theta, plus the sine of pi halves. Sine of pi is 0. Sorry, getting ahead of myself. The sine of pi halves is 1 times the cosine of theta, minus the cosine of pi halves, which is 0 times sine of theta. Does everybody follow me so far? Well, obviously, anything times 0 is going to be 0. So we cancel those out. Therefore, we're left with negative cosine of theta plus cosine of theta equals 0. Well, obviously, these are going to add up to 0. And we have 0 equals 0 verified. OK?